Hello and welcome to this edition of Ringside Digest. I'm your host, Kirk Day, along with my co-host, Noah Byrne. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a player who has been in the media lately saying that they could potentially be the next Matthew Kachuk in the NHL. I mean, you know, that's some big shoes to fill. We've seen Matthew Kachuk throw how this playoffs, how he's played the regular season. The best player in Florida this year by far. So if you can get another player in this draft as Matthew Kachuk, I think it's probably a good idea to take him. So we're going to be going over who this player is as well as... Uh, kind of what they're going to be going through in this draft, what they've been doing, how they've been playing all throughout this video. But if you want to make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any stuff we have going towards the draft, which is less than a week away now, make sure to do it because we have a lot of stuff coming for this draft. It's a very, very big one. And free agency right after, a lot of exciting stuff going. So we'll be going straight into this video here now, which is the player's Ryan Leonard. Is he the next Matthew Kachuk that we could see in the NHL? We know how good he's been in these uh, recent leading up to the draft. He's moved up a few spots since I've look last looked. Uh, Bob McKenzie also released his rankings recently, and he's moved up a few spots on there, which is, we know how, uh, Bob McKenzie, how important he is towards the <laughs> NHL draft, so what he has to say, I trust him, you know, but we're going to be going over everything in this video, just how he kind of been playing, how he's done, but the, like we said, the third Matthew Kachuk brother is what he's been being called. You can see here, Leonard, the younger brother of former Shark John Leonard, possesses a blue-collar mindset to, uh, uh, to go with an elite offensive skill set. Elite Prospect says Leonard has shades of the third Kachuk in reference to brothers of Matthew and Brady, skilled forwards who possess all kinds of bite to their game. And that is honestly the best definition I could see of Ryan Leonard. After watching him in the U18s, how he's been playing, he gets into the dirty spots that nobody wants to go. He gets in the corners. He's very, very good with the puck on the stick. He has the IQ of getting the puck where he wants it to be, moving the puck around with the stick. He's just so smart with it. You can also He has a lethal shot. Absolutely incredible shot from this gold medal winning OT goal against Sweden in the U18s. He just, he knows what he wants to do. But Noah, what do you think about this comparison? Uh, you know, Matthew Kachuk is one of the top yeah. players in the NHL and Ryan Leonard. You know, that's probably it, a good uh, idea makes, for some teams to get him. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. You know, he, he had, I think, 50 goals this year in the uh, U.S. National Development Team program. And he's putting up like, uh, I think, it's, yeah, like 40 penalty minutes, which is a lot of penalty minutes for a, a goal scorer, if you will. But if you look at Matthew Kachuk, he has no problem fighting somebody, dropping the gloves, getting a five or ten minute misconduct, coming back, and then potting three in the back of your net. So I love this comparison. Yeah, no, like you said, his stats as well here. You can see he's going to Boston College as well next year. Noah's going to go into a bit of what he yep. thinks about this later on. But in the world, uh, the U.S. Eight, under 18s, he was an assistant captain. He was a leader on this team. 17 points in seven games. The amount of scoring chances he made for himself and the other players on that team is absolutely incredible. We'll play some uh, some highlights here for you just so you can see what he's what his play style has been like because it's absolutely fantastic. Shot into the line. Fortescue. Out it momentarily. Hudson delays and he'll sling that up the ice. Ryan Leonard with space. He's got Smith too. Drops Perot. Back to Smith. My goodness. Unbelievable passing play, and Ryan Leonard just taps it in. It's four, just out of the reach of Perot. Gabe Perot barreling it. Pass in front. Will Smith score. Can't keep this line down. Will Smith up top. His third. Little move from Hudson. Ryan Leonard cutting his space. Rich shot. Score. The golden goal. Gold medal drop. Like you can see there, he was absolutely incredible with the puck, creating plays, like I said, for himself and others. He's get he moves that puck fantastically. Like you can see that I know some of the teams that they were playing were not the best, you know. But the way even they were moving around those players, just passing the puck back and forth, creating shot uh, chances, getting shots on net from anywhere, it's very, very good. It's what you want to see for a player who has been moving up the rankings a lot. And that's what we're gonna be talking about here now. Uh, I can see him going a lot higher than what some people have had. Bob McKenzie released his rankings earlier. I think it was yesterday. You can see he's on this one. He has him at six. That's a pretty high ranking for Ryan Leonard but from what we've seen a, a few weeks ago. But I can honestly see him going as high as five because we don't really know what's going to happen in the Matt Van Mitchkoff situation right now. Projected five to Montreal at the, in the Bob McKenzie's rankings. But I can see uh, Ryan Leonard going five. You know, if, if Montreal decides something else, if someone else picks Matt Van Mitchkoff, whatever, however it happens... I can see him going as early as five because the way that his play style is, it's not a player that you really want to miss out on because he he's a special yeah. player. It's very hard nowadays to find someone who got a mix of physicality, talent, goal scoring ability. Uh, not I'll say and not not caring to take a penalty when needed. <laughs> like it's very special to have one of those players. You know, not a lot of yeah. players in the league have them. You know, the Chuck brothers are two that are very very notable. 
And then you'll probably struggle to find some other players like those guys. But it's very important that you have a player on like that in your team, especially if you're going to be building up from uh, as Montreal is now in a rebuild or if you're going into a, uh, a deep playoff run. But Noah, what do you think that you could see Ryan Leonard or where do you think you can see him go in this draft? Well, first off, I mean, I think that's why they call the Kachucks the unicorns, right? Because they're one in a million. You can't get a player like that. But I re- I can't be the only one that thinks Philadelphia here. You know, the typical Broad Street bully. I mean, that was probably a couple – that was a while back. But he still fits the bill of a, of a Philadelphia flyer. But, you know, I think I think Philly would be awesome. They're at seven, I do believe. I think it's seven or eight, I think. Seven, I think. So, I mean, maybe he slides. You never know. But a little point here. They Boston – or, sorry, Boston – where they're too. Uh, Cutter Goche went fifth overall to Philly last year. He's committed to Boston College for – he played there last year. He's going to go – he'll be back there again this year. And that is where Ryan Leonard will play this year as well. So maybe, you know, Philly drafts Ryan Leonard thinking, oh, let's get these guys – these both these guys developed together. We know what they'll bring. And, I mean, that's that's just a recipe for success there. That would be a good idea as well. Before getting yeah. making the NHL, they'll be playing for a year together in college. But I can see many teams trying to trade up for Ryan Leonard. You know, he's the kind of player that you want, like I said. If you can get a player like that, move up. If you don't want to move up too far, like if you just say you're around 15 to 10, you never know. He may drop as well because mm-hmm. there's a lot of people that have him going towards the 9 and 10 area of the draft, which still is a possibility. But the way he's been playing in that U18, yeah. that, that, I think that kind of solidified his spot to be moved up a Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. Well, um, you look at you but, look at Bob McKenzie's ranking as well, right? I mean, he's pretty – not that he's harsh. He's a harsh ranker, but – you have to take some some substantial, I guess, progress to be to move up on his list, and I think Ryan Leonard has done that substantially. Yeah, and he's one of the bigger guys in this draft. He's like he's not yeah. no, uh, he's not no elephant or he's not no giraffe. He's, <laughs> I think he's around six foot one ninety. So he is that a bigger player compared to what we've been seeing recently in the draft. Like you know Connor Bedard, what is he like five five nine five ten? Yeah, I think he's small. Guys he's like small. Caulfield who are like five nine. And then, yeah, just like players that are usually smaller now. You don't get very many big guys coming out of this draft on forward anymore. But Ryan Leonard, you know, he's fitting that stature of one of the older, yeah. like an older style NHL player. And get, you draft in like the late to second. Speak first. silly players. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> it, it kind of fits the narrative of what they've been having yeah. over the past few years. And it worked. So I do like the Philadelphia Flyers idea. You know, we'll see what happens in the draft because we got less than a week now. Got to depend on the interviews Crazy. and stuff. We seen that in the NBA draft last night. Somebody was supposed to go forward, dropped down to like 20. So... It's not just about the play style, it's about the interviews, the workouts, and everything too, as well, the combine. So we'll see what happens with this uh, now in about a week. So we'll uh, we'll be doing more videos on the draft and everything, a lot more stuff coming up soon. we got a lot, not very much time left to do this, so we're going to be going over <laughs> a lot more stuff in the, the few, next few days. But if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe. Also, if you like the video, make sure to like it. And if you subscribe, you'll see more stuff from us. And if you like this video, you get more that you like. So, you know, it's a win-win for you and us. So make sure to subscribe, <laughs> make sure to like the video. Hope you have a good day whenever you're watching this, and see you later.